A hair salon in Beacon Hill is stepping up to help the victims of the war in Ukraine. The salon owner was born in Russia and came here under refugee status as a young girl. And now she's helping a Ukrainian woman and her daughter begin a new life in Boston. I came with my brother and my dad, and it was just three of us, and, you know, we came under really poor circumstances. And I do remember a lot of people helping us out. So I do know the magnitude of just someone even giving you something and how it feels and how you can remember it for the rest of your life. Marina Melnikova has never forgotten the kindness that was shown to her when she arrived in the United States from Russia at just 12 years old. Yeah, this is really good. 20 years later, Melnikova is a naturalized American citizen and the owner of Zena Rose Hair Salon in Beacon Hill. When Russia began its war on Ukraine in February, Melnikova decided the salon would sponsor refugees Yulia Vorobyova and her 14-year-old daughter, Anastasia. She's 15 years trained hairstylist over there in Ukraine, and that's actually how we met through kind of Instagram and the industry itself. We've been like, I've been admiring her work, we've been messaging each other back and forth. When the war first hit, they were somewhere in a bunker in Ukraine. They were really scared, they couldn't go back home to get their stuff. You know, they were running out of supplies. Melnikova and the team at Zena Rose jumped into action. Business manager Carolyn Schultz created informational pamphlets to hand out to clients. And nearby Beacon Hill businesses have started rallying around the effort, hanging pamphlets and the Ukrainian flag in their storefronts. Being able to do this and seeing how much opportunity and joy you can bring someone from another country coming out of a war is... is mind-blowing it's it's so rewarding we've been able to find her an apartment furniture we've got bags of clothes downstairs for her so when she arrives i want her to feel as set up for success as possible until then they'll communicate in russian through whatsapp Yulia does not speak English, but Melnikova says it is her 15 years of experience as a hairstylist and her life experience that will make her a valuable team member. Everyone is compassionate to her situation and how much she had to go through to just have a chance at a regular job that we all take for granted every single day. What I want her to just understand that America is about land of opportunity, and it's been for me, and I hope it is the same for her. Well, Yulia and her daughter are on a flight to Boston today, and they're set to arrive at Logan later tonight. Marina tells me they'll be surprising them at the airport with American uh, flag balloons and sunflowers. If you would like to donate money, clothing, furniture, anything to help Yulia and her daughter get settled, we have a link on our website, cbsboston.com. Yulia's husband is staying behind to fight in the war, so they really need all of the support that they can get.